Today's smartphones are incredible little machines. Do you know how many different kinds of sensors go inside a smartphone? Never mind. Let's get started. So let's start with the most commonly used sensor. The accelerometer. This sensor is used to determine a device orientation along its three axes. Apps use this data to tell if a phone is in portrait or landscape orientation, if its screen is facing up or downward. Next is gyroscope. This sensor provides orientation information with greater precision. This also helps in watching 360 videos and this is the main component for virtual reality. Next up magnetometer. This is another sensor that most smartphones of this age have. It is able to detect magnetic fields. This is a sensor that compass application used to point the Earth's North Pole. Next up we have proximity sensor. This is comprised of an infrared LED and infrared light detector. It is placed near the earpiece of a phone. When you place the handset up to your ears, the sensor lets the system know that you have most probably in a call and that the screen has to be turned off. Next is light sensor which basically measures how the ambient light is. You might have seen auto brightness option in your smartphone. It uses this sensor. When ambient light is plentiful, the screen brightness is pumped up and when it is dark, the display is dimmed down. Next up barometer, also known as altimeter. This is usually seen in high-end phones, a sensor that can measure atmospheric pressure. This device is used to determine how high the device is above the sea level, which in turn results in improved GPS accuracy. Next up is thermometer, used for measuring ambient temperature. However, there is a thermometer in pretty much any smartphone and some have more than one. The difference is that they are used to monitor the temperature inside the device and its battery. If a component is detected to be overheating, the system shuts itself to prevent damage. Next up is air humidity sensor. As it sounds, it checks whether or not the user was in comfort zone just by checking optimal air temperature and humidity. Next up is pedometer. This is used to count the number of steps that the user has taken. This can be obtained by the device accelerometer. But a dedicated pedometer is a lot more accurate and power efficient. Next is heart rate monitor. Most commonly used in Galaxy device. As it sounds, it is used to measure one's pulse. And it does that by detecting the minute pulsation of the blood vessel inside one's finger. Next up is fingerprint sensor. And probably every mid-range device has this sensor. It is more convenient to use and it is more often used as an extra layer of security. It is a substitute for lock screen password. Lastly, a sensor that you wouldn't expect to find on a smartphone. One capable of detecting harmful radiations. Yet there is a phone that sport one. The Sharp Pantone 5, released only in Japan. It is used to measure the current radiation level in the area. That's it with this quick video on sensors. What do you guys think about these sensors? Do let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, then do give a thumbs up below. For more frequent updates, follow me on social media. I make videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. This is AT and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.